Low Orbit Ion Cannon, a program that many people probably became familiar with back in the glory days alongside Cain and Abel back when World at War wasn't full of modded lobbies and booting somebody offline was actually possible with your home internet connection. Did you know that this infamous DOS program has an older brother, well younger brother in chronological terms because it was made after Low Orbit Ion Cannon, but that's besides the point. In this video, I'm going to be comparing the history of the two programs, Low Orbit Ion Cannon and its, I guess you could call it, cousin, High Orbit Ion Cannon. So to start off, these programs have been around for about a decade now, and uh, I think it's time somebody around here made a decent video about them, right? Seriously though, I feel like some people look at these programs and they're just like, ah, childhood, because I know that's what mine was. I don't know, am I weird for that? Whatever. But let's start off with talking about LOIC. LOIC is an application developed by 4chan affiliated hackers around 2010 from what I can gather. Anonymous 4chan users first used this program to attack websites related to the Church of Scientology in October of 2010, and then followed it up with Operation Payback in December of the same year. Operation Payback targeted companies that were opposing the website known as WikiLeaks. LOIC allows the users to perform a DOS attack or DDoS attack when you by multiple people at one time, and it uses TCP, UDP, or HTTP packets, depending on the type of attack that you're trying to commit with it. It's almost like the textbook program for people to pretend to be a hacker. I know, like it was for me whenever I was a little kid on Xbox, <laughs> because it just automates the process, like it makes it super simple, anyone can do it. But not everybody could use HOIC, or High Orbit Ion Cannon, and that brings us to the second part, which is obviously HOIC. High Orbit Ion Cannon or HOIC is the lesser known variant and was developed by Anonymous during the conclusion of the previously mentioned Operation Payback. This attracted authorities, which led to the arrest of 13 individuals who will not be named. Anonymous basically was just thinking, hey, we need a better way of doing this, and created High Orbit Ion Cannon. Now HOIC is different from LOIC because you'll notice when you open the program, it gives you the option to add a booster file, which greatly affects the power of the attack. It's also only HTTP. You could only target websites with this. You could not hit off a home network because it doesn't support the use of UDP. I didn't find out about HOIC until like way later, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like my friend, showed, the same friend that showed me LOIC showed me HOIC and I was like, uh booster. Yeah, that basically brings us to the conclusion of this video, which is, uh, you know, I think personally one of the main reasons why people generally know about LOIC more than HOIC is because it had the UDP option and you could you could boot people offline from Xbox if you can't enable. But yeah, that was just my little talk on LOIC versus HOIC, the differences between the two programs and a little bit of history. I hope you guys enjoyed it and subscribe for more.